Dmitri Shostakovich, one of the 20th century's great composers. Mstislav Rostropovich, student of the great composer, renowned cellist, and now conductor of Washington's National Symphony Orchestra. Tonight, under the baton of Rostropovich, the National Symphony Orchestra performs Shostakovich's Fifth Symphony on stage at Wolf Trap. On Stage at Wolf Trap is made possible by a grant from Martin Marietta Corporation, where tomorrow's technologies are being masterminded today in aerospace, electronics, information management, and materials. Additional funding is provided by a grant from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Hello, I'm Beverly Sills. Tonight is a very special one, as Maestro Mstislav Rostropovich conducts the National Symphony Orchestra in a performance of Shostakovich's monumental symphony number no. five. Rostropovich and Shostakovich, student and teacher, and close personal friends. It's a rare opportunity to hear the work of one of the 20th century's major composers conducted by someone who knew him so well. The National Symphony Orchestra is on the stage of the Feline Center, and Maestro Rostropovich will join them in just a few minutes for tonight's performance. But another performance took place on this stage early this morning. The park was quiet at sunrise when an ensemble of six Feline Center stagehands began to assemble the custom orchestra shell on the huge empty stage. Their performance, which takes two hours, begins with the ceiling. The top of the acoustical shell is in three parts. Each section weighs 1,200 pounds and is rolled onto the stage on tripods. Then, a huge winch lifts the ceiling piece and its side sections into place, 45 feet above the front of the stage, tilting down to 35 feet at the rear of the stage. After the ceiling is secured, the side and back walls are moved to the stage. Like the ceiling, they are made of Douglas fir applied to a metal backing. Each of the 24 sections is 30 feet tall and weighs 3,000 pounds, far too large or heavy for a stagehand to move without some technological help. That help comes from an electric blower, which supplies air to pneumatic casters under each of the wall sections. As the wall of the shell is being assembled, there is more choreography on stage. Chairs, music stands, and music are put into place for tonight's performance. Now, through time-lapse photography, here is the entire two-hour process in only 20 seconds. Some call Shostakovich the most brilliant of all Russian composers. He is clearly one of the great composers of the 20th century. During his lifetime, Dmitry Shostakovich received the highest awards of his country. But along with those awards came severe trials and public humiliation. Shostakovich lived through a difficult time for Soviet artists, and all of his life was a testimony to the conflict he faced between writing what he saw as the truth and writing what would please the Soviet leadership. The friendship of Shostakovich and Rostropovich began as that of student and teacher, with the composer recognizing the genius that the young cellist would come to demonstrate. In 1974, Rostropovich and his family left the Soviet Union for the last time. A year later, his friend and mentor, Dmitry Shostakovich, died in the Soviet Union. Though it has been 10 years since Shostakovich's death, the bond between the two men has not faded. Earlier today, Maestro Rostropovich spoke with us about his friend and teacher. You know, first of all, for you, uh, that's for me impossible, something to tell about his personality, what he looked like. like a, because that's not enough my English for explain to you. That's first difficult. But uh, 
I, simple. If you see some very nervous, very, very, you know, very people with electricity, that's he, some personality. If you see a very, very beautiful face, he's very beautiful as man. And if you, um, if you have electricity for somebody, you must believe that's just a college. His presence, e even if, uh, if you sit in, uh, in back to door, and when he coming and you not hear that door open, you immediately have feeling that his presence here. You immediately look who is here, you know. That's a real person with magic. First performance of 15th of New York College was that important day for all, for all music in the world. Because that's four, number four symphony before. And um, Lady Macbeth, that's uh, provoked great scandal. Because government, uh, especially Stalin, Stalin, I don't know he hear personally this music or not, but somebody tell to him maybe. And all Soviet government with all strengths was against Shostakovich. That's like an enormous big tank coming against small fly. My friends tell me that ovation after well, his fifth symphony um, was near to one hour after the concert. You know what I mean, ovation, one hour. He coming to the stage hundred times, and people screaming and that, because all musicians who like music, not in the of Stakovich, was very happy that her feeling that this genius is still alive after this. Still, he have, he have, um, permissions after such success of this symphony just continue composed. And uh, of course, government was in this moment also uh, intelligent because if government coming against after such success, that's a little bit dangerous, a little bit too much conflict. You know, center of this symphony, number five, center, epicenter, that's, you know, like an uh, like a earthquake. That you see epicenter. Epicenter, of course, third movement. That slow movement, what a real, that's open heart operation. You see how beat with his heart. You see how you hear how this heart suffer, how, how this heart near to heart attack, you know? And uh, that's a real, something very deep and very tragic movement. I know Sostakovich so well. I see his face. I, when I conduct him, that's his presence, his magic presence coming to me physically. I see his face when I conduct him. I see his lips. I see his eyes. You know, that's, that's so impressed to me. And of course, I very would know how he liked perform his music. Because that's all my practical life uh, from 16 years old, I first time see him, and last time I see him 47 years old. Horrible and most, most horrible time in all my life. That very tragic moment was in my life and for him, because we both understand that we not see each other more. Just now I performed Fifth Symphony in, uh, in Old Borough, that's, I, that's Suffolk in Great Britain. And my wife Galina was there in performance. And after performance, this uh, that so deep impressed this composition, this performance. Ongalina tell me, you know, when I hear this symphony, I really don't believe that I know him personally. And I touch his hand, and that that's already for ten, right, uh, from 1975 exactly, for ten years, for Shostakovich died. Already this distance take at him so great. You know, because well, well, I think, why that friend of Beethoven just maybe drink with him beer, and just speaking like a well, human being with human he, being, and don't understand that Beethoven, that giant, you know? And I have now some feeling. I also have feeling I wish Shostakovich was so drink vodka with him, speaking, I told to him some joke, he told me joke, and we laughing. And now, after 10 years after he died, I think, how possible <laughs> I was a little bit familiar with him, you know, a little bit you know, too, too simple, too, too easy taking him. 
I'm sure he coming as one of the greatest composer in 20th century. One of the greatest. I think that he coming, not, or you take me serious. I think he coming as Beethoven in after 100 or 150 years. And I think that's also Sostakovich very human composer. He makes strong people through the suffering that you give for him strength for, for coming against evil. And I think that's he coming very, 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 very.
Mstislav Rostropovich has conducted the National Symphony Orchestra in a performance of Dmitry Shostakovich's Symphony No. 5 on stage at Wolf Trap. On Stage at Wolf Trap was made possible by a grant from Martin Marietta Corporation, where tomorrow's technologies are being masterminded today in aerospace, electronics, information management, and materials. Additional funding was provided by a grant from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting.